Welcome, people of YouTube. Guy Gash here again today. Thank you for joining me and thank you for clicking on my video. Now, life is a set of choices. A set of decisions, a set of things that you have to make. Life is your own making. Um, through a daily practice and a daily, uh, daily attention, you realise that it's your decisions, the choices you make, your, ma your relationship with your mind, your relationship with yourself, and how well you know yourself that determines the quality of the life that you live. Um, so, when taking that into consideration, what is the relationship with your mind? What is the relationship with yourself? How well do you know yourself? Do you have insecurities that you have? You see, through my early journey, I used to be really, really into the gym, you know, through my own insecurities, not for, it was, there was a sense of enjoyment there, but it was a way to mask my confidence issues in that respect. Um, I buried a lot of my confidence issues within going to the gym, getting into being a big guy. And yeah, that, that's, that's the way I coped with confidence issues. Um, obviously, life unfolds. Things, various things happen, and choices get made. And like you, like I'm saying, the thing is to realise is that once you start determining your relationship with these things and working on your relationship with these things, with with your mind, with yourself, how your life's unfolding, or or even considering and just stopping and questioning anything for a second. Um, you start producing a different kind of quality to life because what you've done is you've broken the habitual pattern of thinking that life is just responding and happening and ongoing, which is fact. Life is ongoing. Life does respond to you, um, but it's not, it's not a case of that it's just happening. It is responding to you. It is taking note of what you're doing. Um, life works like an energy transaction whatever you put into life you get back but like i say if you're putting into your um confidence issues like i was you know fueling trying to mask a confidence issue you're just going to get lost within that the turmoil in that and when you break free from them things and you break free and move forwards you know you um you start producing a better quality Life's like levels, you know, we go through different stages, we go through different things and events and sometimes we get stuck in either a comfort zone or we get stuck in an area where we kind of want to stay or we don't know how to move forwards. Um, prime examples like me mental health issues and mental health states. The thing is with these states that we have, it's like we've almost clung on to them, not through our own self-doing like we like the feeling, um, but we're trying to fix it. So we hold on to things, we hold on to them, trying to fix them, trying to work them out. And the thing is with any kind of sadness or any kind of hurt or any kind of uh, difficult experiences, the more you go into them and experience them and feel them for what they are and come to terms with them a little bit more, have a bit more acceptance of your mental health, of your dark areas, and the more you go deeper and deeper into it, it's like a catapult, like a slingshot, and you're just pulling it back into darkness, into the sadness, into whatever difficulties you're going through. And a lot of people won't admit to this, you know, it's, it's all within the mind, and, uh, you know, that's a lot of people that, kaboom, once you let go, you go into this sadness, you go into acceptance, then you let go. It fires you straight back into happiness and light and further than you ever were before. You see, the thing is with these experiences that we're having, they're all trying to teach us something. You are not the sadness. You are not the happiness even. You are the experience of them things, the bit that's in between it all. Um, yeah, we get lost in attaching ourselves to emotions, attaching ourselves to pursuing happiness and pushing away sadness without realising that we are just the bit that's in the middle, that's gluing all them experiences together. Um, many situations happen in our life and it's all our perception that determines if they're good or bad. Um, some people might look at, you know, some poor people, you know, people might look at poor people in general. Obviously, poverty is not bad. Uh, obviously... 
poverty is bad and hunger's bad and whatever else. But some people might look at poverty in such a way that, oh, it's really sad, it's really sad. But sometimes you look at poverty and you see that really the people with not many things in life are actually the happiest and they've not lost in touch with their humanity. Like a lot of, you know, westernised cultures have, I'm not, I'm not condemning it, but, you know, we've lost touch with what humanity is. We don't want to share things. We don't want to incorporate with other people. You know, we're kind of all just on his own little rat race. So, yeah, there's many different factors and ways of looking at things and looking at situations, but it's all determined by your perception. Your perception. How to enhance your perception is to perceive. And how do we perceive? We tap into present, where everything exists. The future and the past. The past is something that's happened and you're holding on to it through memory. And the future is something that we envision and we produce it through, um, you know, imagination. And what, where we want to go, what we want to do. But the thing that lasts, the thing that is eternal, the thing that lasts, uh, is, that's in between all of that, is the present, and that's where you exist. I am here now, I am here present, I am here and I am aware. Expanding your perception and reviewing your perception and connecting with that space, you'll realise that the quality of life isn't about the external situations. The quality of life is not about everything that's happening around you or that's happening in the world. The quality of life is the thing that you produce within yourself. Um, yeah. As I always say on this channel, peace and love to anybody watching this. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Life is all about choices and changes. And if you move with the flow of it, focus on yourself and centering yourself. And focus on if you do to want to uh, go that direction, try and change yourself. Try and realise that we're never at the top. We're never at the peak of our evolution or we're never at the peak of our intelligence or the peak of anything. You know, you can work and work and work, but you, you ask any professional athlete or any professional person, they're always still trying to get better. They're always still trying to push themselves. And sometimes we get in comfort zones. We get things where we think we're at the top or we think, you know, that we don't need to do any more. And that's what limits us. That's what limits us from getting to the next step. And you can be so close to the next whole new chapter, whole new wave in life, but we hold ourselves back through this limitation of either thinking we're not good enough or thinking we're already there. Um, but yeah, life's a massive opportunity uh, and just keep, keep experiencing everything that you can. Yeah, man.